Ever wanted to learn competitive programming without any prior experience? Are you having problems with improving in competitive programming? If so, this video is for you. To start, competitive programming is an activity in which tasks and problems are solved using programming. Contestants write programs to solve problems as fast as they can. Rankings are based on the program's properties, such as how long the program takes to run, how much memory it consumes, and how many tests the program can pass. In addition to these measures, rankings are also based on how long the contestant took to write their solution and how many incomplete submissions the contestant had prior to the correct solution, if they have any. Without further ado, I'm going to get into the basics to getting started in competitive programming. The first step I want to talk about is knowing English. If you are already decent in English, you may skip this step. Knowing English is super beneficial to programming, as most languages are based around English and English syntax. English fluency is super beneficial to competitive programming. Next, the second step is math. Math comes up a lot in competitive programming. The more math you know, the better you can be at competitive programming. A general good minimum background is knowing a decent amount of algebra and geometry. However, some problems are based upon other topics such as number theory and combinatorics. A great resource I find for everything math related is the Art of Problem Solving website. A link to the website is in the description below. The third thing to getting started is keyboard skills. Again, if you are great at typing and have no issues with that, feel free to skip this step. Having good keyboard skills is key to writing up your solutions faster. There are many websites out there that allow you to practice, such as keybr.com. Again, link in the description below. The next step is selecting both a language and an IDE for coding. Several languages can be used for competitive programming, but the most popular ones are C++, Java, and Python. It doesn't matter which one you use, but in the long run, C++ is likely the best option for programming. It is the best, fastest language among the three and uses the least memory as well. In addition to this, C++ also has a wide range of built-in tools, data types, and methods all combined in the C++ Standard Template Library, or STL for short. Next, it is time to select an IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. There are many popular IDEs out there, and all of them have their strengths. Popular IDEs include VS Code, Sublime Text, Vim and its many versions, Eclipse, C Lion, IntelliJ, and so forth. Setting up your IDE for local testing is also an important aspect of competitive programming, as it can be useful to debug programs in your code, test your solutions, and much more. We now move on to the actual programming aspects. You will repeat these and doing so will allow you to improve and know your general level. The first step is to learn algorithms. You can do so from various resources, all of which are linked below. Hacker rank, leak code, Uthico training pages, the CSES Competitive Programmer's Handbook, and so on. There are many resources on the internet for competitive programming and also many books available. Also, after learning cer certain algorithms, you must master them by putting your skills to the test. You can do so by practicing. Popular websites such as Usico, CodeForces, and CodeChef all allow you to practice problems from previous contests they hosted on their website. You can solve problems and submit your solutions to the website, which will judge your solutions on sets of test cases. Remember to practice quality over quantity, and keep in mind there are time limits in real contests. It is also helpful while practicing to develop good habits, such as writing things down and coding after devising an algorithm for a problem. The final step in this cycle is to compete in contests. Some coding websites, such as CodeForces and CodeChef, host weekly contests that anyone can participate in. There are also CP Olympiads, both regional and international, such as the Central European Olympiad in Informatics, or CEOI for short, the Intercollegiate Programming Contest, or ICPC, the Baltic Olympiad in Informatics, or BOI, the USA Computing Olympiad, or USICO, the International Olympiad in Informatics, or IOI, or the Asian Pacific 
Informatics Olympiad, or APIO, and many more. Competitions are a way to find out your current progress, and you should treat them as so. Try not to panic while doing them. Remember, there will always be another contest. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. All the links I mentioned in the video are in the description. I will see you next time. Bye!